One thing we know about sex abuse, it can take years, decades to disclose. This lawsuit just filed in federal court in D.C. where the scouts were originally chartered by Congress, names eight men. One is here in Arizona, abused at nine years old, forced into sex acts with other children while his scout leader took pictures. Attorneys hope this case is successful so survivors in states that do not have extended statute of limitations can finally seek justice. I was a, a naive, trusting young man. Dan Carroll's come a long way, coming to terms with his past to seek justice for his future. I was weebelows. He's part of a class action suit going after Boy Scouts of America for covering up decades of sex abuse. I got taken for a ride. He was nine when his scout leader, Don Davis, took him on a drive in Fountain Hills. I remember it to this day, whether it was abandoned or not, it was like a um, sand and gravel pit. It started with the talk about coming of age and ended with oral sex. Well, he exposed himself and uh, encouraged me to um, take care of him. Dan told his mom they called 911 and detectives eventually found 13 other boys who said Don Davis also abused them. And when Dan went to his parish priest for help, he was re-victimized. He suggested that I show him what happened. I think he feigned uh, ignorance about what I was trying to co communicate to him and uh, suggested that I demonstrate. Deputies arrested Father Harry Morgan and Don Davis the same day. The priest pleaded no contest and got 10 years probation. Davis pleaded guilty and did 20 years in prison. I think by the time the dust settles, we're going to see tens of thousands of victims come forward. Attorney Tim Kosnoff says sex crimes cases against the Boy Scouts dwarf what we've seen in the Catholic Church scandal. His group, abused in scouting, now represents more than 1,500 survivors, 7 to 92 years old. We had multiple instances where Boy Scouts uh, leaders knew about it, never reported it to the police. Uh, other times they readmitted known child molesters. BSA says they care deeply about all victims and sincerely apologize to anyone harmed during their time in scouting. That they are outraged individuals took advantage of their program to abuse innocent children. They not only should have known, they did know. I was convicted of receipt and distribution of child pornography. This is the man BSA Nationals put in charge of protecting scouts from sex abuse. He was caught with hundreds of thousands of child porn images on his computer by the Department of Homeland Security. Douglas Smith served seven years and was still allowed to retire. I always told myself that I would, I would never tell this story. Eddie Meyersick never had his day in court. You only just recently fully disclosed this to even your parents. Right. Yeah, um, literally three days ago. Uh, that's how long I guess I, I kept it bottled inside. He just moved from Phoenix back to Utah, where his scout leader abused him when he was 12. He started engaging in things that were just simply inappropriate. You know, whether that's a slap on the rear end just for fun or a pinch. He looks for opportunities to get me alone. He got me into his truck and, uh, and performed, sexual, uh, performed oral sex on me. Um, and, uh, and that was it. I, I couldn't stand to be around him anymore. He told his parents he was done with scouting and didn't want to go back. My greatest fear is that he, like I said, is that he went on to abuse other, other boys. We did some digging and found his accused abuser. David Conrad stopped being a troop leader after about a year. He worked maintenance at a school, then got eight months in jail for forcible sex abuse of a 15-year-old boy in 1996, more than a decade after Eddie left Scouts. That's probably my biggest regret, is, is not doing something when I was younger. Like Arizona, Utah is one of about two dozen states to recently extend statute of limitations for sex crimes. So in addition to joining the new lawsuit, Eddie's next step is finally filing a police report. Maybe others as well will feel comfortable sharing their stories. I know Boy Scouts have been saying they're considering um, filing for bankruptcy. How do you feel about that? If bankruptcy is a way of shielding them from that responsibility, then uh, I think that's a, 
I don't know if I can say it on the air. You can bleep it out, but I think that's a pretty sh uh, way to go. It's not about the money for Dan. Look what we found buried in his old case file. The family of the first boy molested by Don Davis confronted the scouts a year before the others were abused. They tried to keep him from becoming scoutmaster and were bewildered his appointment was allowed nonetheless. I think they need to take responsibility. His abuser's name added like so many others in the Boy Scouts confidential perversion files. Responsible parents can't stop it, but we can. And that's the whole point is to you know try to make sure the institutions that uh, put themselves in the lives of young people for, for very good reasons are being responsible. To learn more about the abused and scouting lawsuit and deadlines for Arizona's statute of limitations, you'll find more context in my story on our AZ Family News app now.